Uh, this first one, it says Bob Wolf weekly gross earnings for the present week were $2,130. Wolf has two exemptions using the wage bracket withholding table in page in exhibit two, which I have it here. That's the exhibit two, the withholding table. $81 is the standard withholding allowance for each exemption. What is Wolf's federal income tax withholding? We need to calculate the federal income tax withholding for this employee. And we need to round the answer to two decimal places. So how do we do that? Just take a moment to process this information. Uh, best way is just lay out all the information. Total wage payment is how much? 130 as given in the information in the problem. How many allowance? One allowance. So one times $81, okay? The reason I wrote out here is if you have two, then it's two times $81. That comes out to $162. No, it says um, two, no, no. How many with our other? That's two exemptions, my bad. Two exemptions, so that's 81. Times two here. So 162, then the amount subject to withholding is wage minus 162. That's amount subject to withholding. And initial withholding from wage bracket Where does that come from? It's in this table here. We have to find 1968. Where does that fall? Right here. Falls in here. So it's going to be 276, 54. plus additional withholding, which is 24% of excess over 1692. If you do the calculation, which is, so this, I have a dollar sign in percentage, it's, it's 24%, okay? Point twenty four times nineteen sixty eight minus sixteen ninety two. Does that come out to? Sixty-six twenty-four. In the sum of these two, 
342.78. And that's your amount of income tax withholding. This is the amount subject to withholding, and you use that to figure out the amount of income tax withholding at the federal level. Okay. So I'm laying this out vertically in the example exercise on the slides. I did it horizontally. Okay. Either way, it's the same formula. So that's one you have on your homework. The other one, let's do this. Payroll register. Actually says she has that problem, but your numbers are different. Yeah, your numbers are gonna be different. So that way you can work it out on your own using your own numbers. Uh, each student will have different numbers, okay? That way, supposedly prevents students from sharing the numbers. <clears throat> okay, here, um, <clears throat> the payroll register shows 13920 of Social Security withheld, 3480 of Medicare tax withheld. On the total salaries of 232, Federal withholding for the period total 43,200. We have to do a journal entry. So what is the journal entry? This is payroll. And right away, it's going to be expenses and payables. Okay. Um, it says total salary. So that's going to be salaries expense and is that a debit or credit it's gonna be debited for the increase of their salaries and you have a bunch of taxes that we have collected withheld from the employee and we owe this to the government we need to remit them and this is social security tax. Thirteen nine twenty. Medicare tax. I should add the word payable. Nineteen twenty, which comes from here. Medicare tax payable, 3480. Employees, federal income tax payable. That's given, 43,200. What's the last line here? Anyone remember? Salaries payable, yes, Nathan, thank you. And that's just the difference. This equal this minus this minus this minus this. And you have 171 400. That's how you do this journal entry. Now the next one. Payroll register indicates 14,040 of Social Security tax withheld, 3510 of Medicare tax withheld, and total salaries of 234. Earnings of 31,000 subject to state and federal unemployment compensation taxes at the federal rate of 60% and state rate 
no, it's not 60%. It's 0.6% and the state rate of 5.4%. And just have to do a journal entry for this. This is payroll taxes is different from salary expense here. This is payroll tax expense because this is not the employee's wages. And up here, it's the employee wages and it's the amount of tax that we collect from the employees on behalf of the government. So that's different from the bottom entry that we're doing now. This is the company's taxes that are owed by the company. So that's the social security tax, payable, Medicare tax, payable. So don't get the two confused, okay? This is the company's expenses on payroll. This is also a company's expenses on payroll, but it relates to the employees. Uh, the amount of salaries that's due to the employees, 17, well, yeah, um, 171,400 in salaries. And then these are the payables that the company had collected from the employee on behalf of the government and need to remit it. Now, this is what the companies incur in terms of similar taxes up here, Social Security and Medicare as well, but it's what the company actually, all the government, it's the government's, I mean, it's the company's operating expense. Medicare tax payable, state unemployment tax payable. I'm gonna abbreviate this. FUTA tax payable for federal unemployment tax. Given in the problem. Social security tax. 14.040. Medicare tax. Thirty-five ten. Now we have to calculate FUDA and SUDA. SUDA is thirty-one times five point forty percent, and FUDA is also thirty-one. And point six percent. This is point zero six. Zero zero six times thirty one thousand. Okay, this point six percent is point zero zero six. All right, so once you get this, you will know this. This looks wrong. Oh, point zero five four, right here. All right, and that's this entry, the two payroll journal entry. Just wanted to clarify and show the difference between the two. Okay, let's jump to this one. 
All right, let's go over this one. It looks complicated because a lot of words and information here. What do we have to do here? Compute payroll. So we have three different employees. One, two, three. Regular earnings rate per week, per hour, per hour. Overtime earnings rate not applicable one and have time two times hourly rate number withholding allowance three two one for hourly employees overtime is paid for hours worked in excess of 40 hours per week okay for the current pay period the computer program worked 60 hours sixty hours worked fifty hours well Fifty hours. The federal income tax would have for all three employees who are single. All of them are single. Can be determined by adding two hundred seven. By adding two hundred seventy six dollar fifty four cents to twenty four percent of the difference between the employees amount subject to withholding in 1692. The federal income tax withheld for all three employees who are single can be determined by adding 276.54 to 24% of the difference between employees amount subject to withholding in 1692. Okay, so this is this one sentence here. Is the same thing as what you would do if you look up the tax bracket uh, withholding table. That's what it's saying. Assume further that the social security tax rate is 6%, the Medicare tax rate 1.5, one withholding allowance is $81. Calculate the gross pay and the net pay. The consultant, do we know the gross pay for the consultant? Because we are assuming the working hours in a week is 40. So this is a weekly. Uh, Crystal says 25.10. Anyone else disagree or agree? Actually agree. Okay, I agree too. Okay, so I'll put two, five, ten. Computer programmer. What is the regular earnings and overtime earning? So, um, okay, regular. Um, let's see. $28 per hour. How many hours? A computer works 60 hours. So 60 hours times $28 per hour. Okay. Got to that in practice. So that's the regular plus over time is uh, $28 times one and a half times how many hours of overtime? Uh, 20 hours of overtime. Yeah, Crystal. Is that right? Oh, the, so I put 60 here. It's supposed to be regular wage, so it's 40 hours times 28, yeah. All right, now administrator, um, likewise, it's gonna be regular wage of $50 per hour times number of hours. Uh, she worked 50 hours, 
or he worked 50 hours what it's 40 hours as the regular plus 10 hours of overtime times 1.5 times $50 per hour the rate and that should get us the gross pay Is that right? no he gets two times oh yeah two times the rate thank you for the reminder yeah okay uh, net pay in order to get the net pay we need to find out all of the deductions so and by the way when you guys do these homework assignment it's better to do the calculations in Excel like this and you can lay out all the information or whatever you typed in it in one cell it's there it's laid out for you to see and you don't lose it if you use a calculator <clears throat> it's just more tedious so we have to less or subtract um, what's on here looks like we have a social security tax Medicare tax Federal income tax. And what's social security tax for the consultant? Uh, we know it's going to be 6% point zero six times equal sign. Zero six times this number. That's the social security tax, Medicare tax is one point five, so equal point zero one five times this, the gross pay amount subject to tax it may be the gross pay or it may not be the gross pay it's just whatever is subject the pay that's subject to these taxes so it's not always the gross pay federal income tax so the only one we have to worry about the um, number of withholdings is the federal tax Um, I didn't get that. What do you mean? We don't have to worry about the number of withholding on each person until we get to the federal tax, the federal income tax. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Federal income tax withholding here. This one takes a lot of work here. All right. So it's good we are, we are doing this because okay. Uh, it's gross uh, weekly pay. That's two five one zero. Number of withholding allowances. It's given to you here, it's three. So use three. And then um Going to be multiplied by 81, so I'll just lay it out here. 
Um, with holding allowance e one, which is three times eighty one gets you this number, which is the amount to deduct. And then, <clears throat> so then amount subject to withholding. Because you have this 2510, or I laid it down here, 2510, and then amount subject to withholding. So it's you, not not subject to withholding. The amount to deduct gets you the amount subject to withholding. Here's the pay, 2510 minus amount to deduct based on the withholding. Then you have amount subject to withholding. So you use this number to look up in the table if you are given a table. Are we given a table here? Yeah, I don't think we are given a table. So our table is, yeah, just how much deduct, as if it's a table. So go back to, to up here. Okay, so this is like your table here that I'm arrowing to, it's giving you. All right, then initial withholding from um, base bracket um, given info. Which is two hundred seventy six and fifty four cents up here. That's a number. Plus the bracket percentage over bracket excess. Okay. So Bracket percentage over excess. That's like when you go to the table. Here it is. Here's the percentage in excess, and that's what it gives you here when it says um, can be determined by adding 276 to 24 percent of the difference between the amount of the toy subject to withholding. That's right here. 276 plus 24 percent in excess of 1692. And that's what we are doing, 276 plus 22% of the excess over 1692. Okay, and we equal 0.24, that's the percentage, times the excess, I mean, um, times, To 2267, which is this, 226 amount subject to withholding over the excess. And the excess given here is 1692. Yeah, 138. You need to see the calculation for that right here. Then you sum this up it is fourteen, I mean, four hundred fourteen and fifty four cents.
So now you have um, this, this, and this as your deductions. So you take your net equal to your gross minus these deductions. And the answer here is 19.07.21 cents. That's for the consultant. Okay, you do the same for the programmer and the administrator as well. And I believe some of you would be confused by the given information, like when you read it in words. When you read it in words, it <clears throat> would be confusing and might be hard to figure out. So that's why we are going through this together. This is just basically um, doing this right here. We, in your bracket, it's basically utilizing this bracket. That's what this statement is telling us that's all this statement here that i'm underlining is the same as telling us to use this bracket you see you guys all see that basically it's just saying to use this bracket okay crystal says yes She's okay with that. All right, so um, this is on your homework. I show you how to figure it out. I mean, it, it's a lot simple than it looks because if you do your, uh, this portion here, it's, you know, it looks complicated, but we just did the, oh, a couple of, example exercises on the slides together. And this is just doing the same exact thing. It looks more complicated laying out like this. If you do it horizontally, put it on one line, it looks a lot simpler if you understand how to do it, <clears throat> which is basically using this guidance from the bracket. And then you got this, this, and after you figure out this, it's just this number minus these. Do the same for these two employees. And that's one exercise on your homework. We went over this one. We went over this. We went over this. And I don't think anything else is difficult. Some will be similar to the ones that we went over. So it's basically you have to do it twice. And then the others, um, I think you guys will handle it okay. All right, and that's all. That's all for tonight. See you guys next week. If you have questions, stay behind. Otherwise, have a good night. Don't forget your assignments for this chapter one, two, and three. No, Thank you.